<sighs> Guys. Okay. So I'm gonna be doing is doing a talk about one sec. Okay. No, hey guys. Xbox E3 2016. Sorry I didn't see the stream, but I'm gonna give some source about good information. Now before I start saying let's talk about the information, I would like to quickly address that I'm not gonna be talking about the main game itself. I'm not gonna be talking about Xbox's upcoming systems because um uh, well I don't feel like Project Scorp Scorpio or Xbox I know Xbox S, which means slim. Um, Xbox One Slim, which I still think it looks interesting in my opinion, and it actually works great. Looks like it will, will beat out a uh, PlayStation. But seriously, I'm not going to be talking about this for now. We're going to talk about is the games that they were really announcing. So Gears of War exists. So Gears of War or Four had happened. So we get a new Hulk Mode 3.0. Oh, a co-op, the gameplay, the show demo, and basically it's a really kind of great, looking great. Next up is Sea of Thieves. Wow, good game. It looks awesome. It's basically pirate, so yeah. Skullbound, which is a concept that really kind of reminds me a lot of DreamWorks Dragons. Let me explain. Basically, well, I'm okay. There was. Changes to make it so it does. It feels a lot remind me of that game. And yes, it looks. Scabba. Yes, it's really kind of great. Recall. Recore. We have more information on Recore. Oh, we're good. Final Fantasy. A X V, which um. Final Fantasy X V. I haven't seen what. It might look like. But 15, Final Fantasy 15, confirm. Dead Rising 3! Yes! Now, if you're wondering, Dead Rising 3 was one of a good zombie game, at least open world sandbox. So, Frank West is back. Um, no, I need a mi Now, also, this game is coming in Christmas, since this game is going to be set in a Christmas theme, and I do have a weirdness issue with, slightly compared to this Frank West, as with the original. The only difference I real I realize that Frank West is using a cell phone, a Windows cell phone. If you're wondering, I was expecting him to use that original camera of himself, but but then I think they had to go think about doing something at least. I don't know why is Frank West using is a mobile besides. I'm oh, sorry. Um, I don't know why is he move using a mob, a Windows Mobile marketing probably marketing reasons, but anyways, interesting. Next up is Frozen. Or okay, I'm gonna skip Frozen or Rising Tree because I'm not interested in sports games. So, like, I'm not interested much in racing. Besides, if I'm more interested in open world sandbox game, some open world sandbox games that make gun sh driving at least interesting, like shooting. Halo Wars 2 is happening. It's coming up. The game will launch in February 1st of next year, which is interesting because we've been waiting for that game to come out. Um, I'm. Oh, if you're wondering where I'm reading the sources, I was thinking about using those YouTube videos, but GameStop will help with everything I need to make resources. So, yeah. I'm also going to really talk about the other features, so, yeah. If you're wondering why I'm just clicking all the. So yeah. Gwench! The Witcher card game is coming out. It's happening. Okay, I'll, I'll go speak that for. Yes, if you don't know, this is a. If you don't know what Gwench mean, what Gwench was, it was Witcher Tree's card game, which is basically a mini game where basically you can play with it with an NPC you can play with, which is awesome. Star DK Two is happening. For those of you who do not know, Star DK is basically Death Permanent Star. It's basically a good looking game, which is basically where zombie death is permanent. You cannot just get a new character. And yes, this is me. I was also trying to make all the characters get alive every time. So yeah, pretty interesting actually. Minecraft news. In Minecraft news, actually, I want to talk about. Now, before you're gonna say, it, okay, so Minecraft announced Minecraft Realms. You can actually now play cross promo to every single co 
to mobile, Xbox, and PC. Sorry, there's no PlayStation version has been announced, so PlayStation, sorry for any PlayStation person who... Sorry people who owns a PlayStation. Who owns a PlayStation on Minecraft. We're sorry for that. Not really. Limbo hasn't been announced. We get more... We get lim Limbo is officially... Futuristic violent... Lim the devs of Limbo is making inside... Now, um, if you're wondering, I never hear inside, actually, if you're wondering, this game was never been announced every time. It has been never been announced. The Vision Update, which I'm gonna skip because this is gonna be Ubisoft. Now, I'm gonna skip this and save this for Ubisoft for later. This is for you, this is Ubisoft Update, but if you want, okay. This is for the new upcoming DLC. The, which is the Underground. Which I'm gonna go cover the division in a totally separate video. We got Tekken. Tekken 7. Fighting game, you get the idea. Which I'm gonna skip also. Uh. Oh, and other gaming related news. It was, uh, Xbox announced that. Microsoft announced that Xbox Play Everywhere, which. Basically, if you own an Xbox One, you if you buy any Xbox One or either Windows One game, you can play it in these two consoles. Like, for example, if you're playing Gears of War or Four, and you want to go for, and you had to go for it or somewhere else, you had to bring your PC. Yes, Windows Ten and Xbox, uh, which is great for any. Oh yeah, by the way, the game that you play. Oh, by the way, when you buy any Xbox One game, you get the PC version for free. Yeah. It does carry on saves and achievements, you're wondering. And luckily, this is Microsoft's new progression system. At least it's good. Xbox. Also, Instinct. Killer Instinct is getting a new Gears of War character named Ram. You get that. You know that guy. Xbox and. Xbox. Also, Microsoft launches its Design Your Own Xbox progression system. And new features on the Xbox. Of new. Xbox. Ugg's live multiplayer feature. Cheers. Now, if you want to know, how they actually make it like it's online, no. we had to play. Oh, and uh, Xbox ID, so... Also, I may talk about Xbox ID, at least. ID. Oh. Don't forget Xbox ID games. It's happening, and, um... There'll be some ID games that I'll be doing as a review, but for now, I'm not gonna go count these. Now, I'm gonna be talking about some of the ID games from 2016. So yeah, the ID moments of 2016. Let's go talk about it. Firstly, the games are going to be fast, so I'm going to go talk about. It. So yeah, we're going to talk about e ID Xbox E3. So yeah, so let's talk about the game. And yes, so firstly, um, I'm going to be talking about a few games that I'm interested in, but not. I'm not going to talk about the rest. So if you're wondering, no. Also, if you want to know to see what the new ID from the new games from the ID Xbox E3 2016, I recommend going to the, I recommend checking out the Xbox videos to it. So first, they Cuphead, interesting art style. Yeah, okay, it's coming out. Land skipping, driving from the moon, 
Fine hook, actually. Really interesting concept. Far. Okay, never mind. Sl okay, I don't want to talk about something. It looks disgusting. I don't know how that works. And we get Shadow Tactics, which is really kind of interesting. Ninja. We get. Okay, nah. The Calling, actually. Really interesting concept of take on Hunger Games. For the King. Very interesting. Do like the art style. Beacon. Interested. Stardew Valley. Need to buy that game for. Hands of Fate 2. Wow. The first game looks off. First game looked amazing. The sequel. Oh, it lose the hype. We got Bullet. And we got this one more game we're going to talk about. Raid. Oh, yeah, Raid. Hmm. Oh, yeah, Teen 70s Yago. Yeah, you okay? Hey, Edley. The. He, which I'm still high for. Which everyone's gonna be high for that game. So, yeah. Overall. This. Is. Firstly, let's. So let's go. So I want to talk about overall ratings for Xbox's E3 tree conference. Oh yeah, Ark Survival Exit. That's it. I'm not mentioning that game. Let's talk about the overall oh, score and my thoughts on this. It is awesome, actually. I don't think it's actually more to uh, Xbox. At least that it's a, at least using Windows 10. At least using a Windows 10 and Xbox One actually being like there are just best dates that will like to share their games. <laughs> Sorry about that shipping stuff. Okay, overall it's same as Bethesda. Amazing, despite that Bethesda doesn't have any much in his belly at the moment. Which if you poke its body, it just has, which is actually full room of gaming with this on. Honor 2, which I'm still, I'm still going to be hyped for the new Bethesda DLCs, and, uh, yeah, actually, this is a good, uh, oh, yeah, Mafia Tree, by the way, don't forget Mafia Tree, um, please note, I, I didn't cover really all much, because I want to cover mostly the interesting stuff, oh, and before we go, before I think about going or something, please, I'm going to be doing is a little video, I'll be doing is a little of a of a video, which is basically where I will do is I have, I'm running out of ideas. Okay, that's what I need to think. Okay, so I kind of run out of ideas, so I'm gonna be doing. Now, but at the end of E3, I'm going to be doing the best of highlights of E3, which is basically E3 highlights of all what I have done, what I've talked about. So Xbox is the same as Bethesda, great. So I consider these two to be the greatest things I ever heard. EA is okay. It just didn't really kind of surprise me. Okay, it's good, but it didn't surprise me much. Much too. Oh, and Nintendo and Ubisoft will be announced later. So yeah. Okay, bye.